Namaste and good morning and welcome to the welcome to my session and I hope uh, everyone is fine and everything is good with you and thank you everyone for your patience for your collaborative collaboration in this conference I am really blessed to have here though I could not attend in uh, a real online conference and due to my uh, some a personal work that's why so I am here and I am here to record my presentation today uh, I'll be highlighting on the role of social media in collaborative learning and online communications especially during the COVID-19 pandemic situation my name is Durga Raj Bussal currently I am an Anfield Research Scholar at Kathmandu University School of Education so let's start uh, my presentation. First of all, uh, education is crucial for social and economic change, obviously. If there is education, there is a possibility for social and economic change. So without educating people, without education, we never expect any kind of social and economic change. That's why if we want to make our social change as well as economical sector change, there must be education. The people should be educated. Then only it is possible to change in our social as well as economical sectors. So, here is my presentation. First of all, uh, I will uh, introduce what is social media. The term social media describes Interactive computer mediated technology, obviously. I guess almost those who we are here almost we use social media, especially uh, we are teacher educators or university lecturers or scholars. Obviously, we are using social media in our everyday life, as well as we use, especially in our teaching learning activities in our educational sector. It is uh, interactive, yeah, obviously, we interact. We use as an interactive computer mediated technologies which helps to facilitate the creation or sharing of information. Yes, we share information, we create different kind of information in social media, different ideas, especially in our teaching learning activities or our career interest. Yeah, we are professionals, so we can create different kind of ideas in associated with our career, our profession and other forms of expression via virtual communities and networks. Obviously, we have here also, we are we have different kind of virtual communities here. We have different kind of networks, teacher professional networks or educator networks. We can use as a resource of information. In this modern area, we use social media as a source of information as well as entertainment, yes. So without using social media, so we cannot entertain anymore. That's why it has been grown exponentially over the last decade. We can see after the pandemic, so almost all the people, they are depending on social media because our teaching learning activities totally uh, went on online mode and we almost teach educators, we use social media for our teaching learning activities to our students. We teach, we share different ideas, we, we, we have different meetings, we conduct different kind of virtual meetings, webinars, everything now depends on social media. That's why it is as a tool for professional communication. Yeah, now we professionals are here, we communicate, we share our ideas, we share our everything in related to our professional and education in healthcare has been increasing. Obviously, we can see. And another a recent report that analyzed media behaviors during the pandemic reported that 40% of people visit social media more for news than they did before COVID-19. Obviously, now I also do. Now I don't have the habit of reading paper newspaper. So I always depend on the social media, whatever news, any updates, or any kind of things I always see on social media because my habit has been changed into online mode that's why 
the pandemic has impacted the educational sectors now we talk about our educational sectors how it has been impacted in our educational sectors because the lockdowns imposed in most countries resulted in the immediate closure of universities obviously now if there there was no any kind of pandemic or lockdowns we could meet in face to face conferences now see why this happen why we are here after the lockdowns after the covid 19 covid 19 pandemic so we are here and the immediate of different universities the face to face classrooms and e schools and the move to online academy activities obviously every kind of uh, teaching learning activities all the classroom activities everything now change into online mode now and another the explosion of ict information and communication technology has led to an increase in the volume of smoothness in transferring course contents we can see which further stimulates the appeasement of digital learning communities obviously now we are in the digital era so now we can create we are depending on the digital learning communities so now our community is a digital learning community so we share our own ideas our own expertise here that's why the social media has impacted not only in our personal life in our educational life in our professional life in our daily life everything similarly the mobile devices and social media provide excellent educational e learning obviously so if we know different uh, online sites or different kind of uh, online tutors tutorials obviously we can create or it we can get excellent educational e learning opportunities for some from social media and as a teacher educators we can also provide our students with different kind of e learning activities e learning opportunities for academic collaboration obviously we can also collaborate with different kind of professionals as well as with our students like accessing course contents and tutors despite the physical boundary obviously this is our great opportunities so it depends on us how we are innovative how do we know about different kind of social sites or educational sites or e learning sites because it provides ample futuristic learning opportunities to the students in accessing core contents obviously we can access we can create we can get different kind of core contents as well as interaction we 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 do have some kind of interaction with teachers with students in online mode also with peers or an experts also now we are in online mode right and we are getting different kind of ideas or course contents we are also getting different kind of resources different ideas from our experts or from our peers as well that's why we are getting different opportunities in this pandemic mode and we are also utilizing or using in our everyday teaching learning activities so another social media for collaborative learning interactivity with teachers how do we interact with teachers and interact with peers how students they collaborate and they interact with their teachers as well as with their peers here use of social media created opportunities to the learners for collaborative learning obviously the learners they get different kind of collaborative learning opportunities they can collaborate with their teachers with their professors with their peers by creating and engaging in various extra curriculum activities obviously we can see now the world has changed into innovative ways and another the use of social media for collaborative learning is positively associated with interactivity with teachers and another the potential use of social media leads to collaborative learning environments which allow students to share educational related materials and contents obviously it helps to create a kind of collaborative learning environments which helps to students to share their educational related materials as well as the core con course contents that's why it has given immense opportunity to the students as well
In the same way, students interact through social media, assist them in collaborative learning and boosting their self-confidence. Obviously, it helps to develop their self-confidence as well. In another, the use of social media for collaborative learning is positively associated with interactive with peers as well. Obviously, the students, they can interact and they can connect, they can share with their friends as well, whatever teaching learning activities happen in their classroom. On the other hand, social media for collaborative learning, interactive with peers, online knowledge sharing behavior and students engagement. How students they engage in teaching learning activities there? Here, students engagement in social media and its types represent their physical and mental involvement. Obviously, and they can involve in various kind of uh, teaching learning activities in online mode, which helps to boost to the enhancement of educational excellency. Obviously, we can see, we can find, or we can help to develop their educational excellency. Time spent on interaction with peers, obviously, and they can spend time with their peers as well as with their teachers for collaborative teaching learning activities and they can be excellent in their teaching learning activities. And another students engagement enhance interacting with peers and teachers in the same direction, shares of ideas. Obviously, they can share different kind of ideas by engaging with their teachers, with their friends, with their peers and they, they do have some kind of group work, a peer work as well as different kind of interactive and communicative activities in online mode as well, which helps to develop their self-confidence and it also helps to have their educational excellence in their teaching learning activities. And another engagement is an active state that is influenced by interaction. Obviously, if the students, they interact and they involve in any kind of uh, teaching learning or especially in interactive activities in online, obviously, it has to develop their uh, confidence and another e-learning becomes now sharp and powerful tools in information communication. Obviously, e-learning sites, we can find different kind of e-learning sites. Uh, we can find different kind of e-learning resources from uh, internet or from different kind of online sites, which helps to, which has been impacting on students' academic performance as well, we can find. And the sharing of gifts sharing the knowledge gives better result obviously sharing is caring so if you don't share if you keep silent if you are not active if you are not interactive we never get any kind of better result in our life that's why i as a learner i am sharing here my own expertise my own experiences my own knowledge which gives me a better result which gives me a confidence here that's why we must have the sharing the knowledge. We must have the habit of sharing any kind of knowledge, any kind of expertise, whatever we have here. And another, the social media provides the robust, personalized, interactive learning environment with enhanced self-motivation, obviously. So it helps to develop our self-motivation as well. That's why social media has been impacting as well as has been playing very pertinent role in our teaching learning activities in our research community in our professional community as a result the use of social media for collaborative learning is positively associated with online knowledge sharing behavior that's we have we asked our family members or different kind of uh, organizations we have been sharing we have been collaborating for last years that's why it has been helping us to develop our knowledge sharing behavior more interaction with teachers leads to higher students engagement obviously if we uh, create different kind of interactive activities with our students obviously those kind of activities helps to lead students higher active engagement and it has been seen as a powerful driver for learning activities in terms of frankness that's why i see I experienced, I, ha I have seen social media in my uh, profession as a powerful driver for learning activities in terms of frankness, interactivity, and friendliness. 
And another more in, more interaction with peers ultimately leads to better students' engagement. Obviously, online knowledge sharing behavior is positively associated with the students' engagement. Sure, and another students' engagement is positively associated with the students' academic performance. That's why I have shared here, I, I am sharing here my own experiences, my own expertise, whatever I explore, whatever I gain during the COVID-19 pandemic. And what sort of communications uh, we used to do or we do during COVID-19 with the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic? The people have increased their social media usage to seek information about the pandemic according to the surveys. We can see, yeah, they increase means the use of social media size has been increasing. The people they seek information and they try to find about different kind of news or different kind of uh, issues on social media because it has created the large shifts in how people stay connected and each other in lieu of social distancing and isolation measures. More and more. Individuals have turned to online communications as a necessary replacement for in-person interaction. Obviously, we can find different kind of uh, as a teacher educators in our profession also. We can find uh, that everything has been uh, turned to online communications as a necessary replacement for in-person interactions. Despite this, the research community has little understanding of how online communications have been influenced by the offline impacts of COVID-19. That's why we have to explore we have to explore different kind of e-learning sites or e-learning activities teaching learning activities and the classroom should not be silent every students every learner they should engage in different kind of teaching learning activities and the teaching learning activities the lesson plan the contents the core contents everything should be student center where the students they themselves can involve can engage in those kind of teaching learning activities then only we can see the teaching learning activities more collaborative and interactive in another and increasingly social media environment the move to mobile media has been accompanied by the rise of social media obviously we can see the social media are not only widely used to share experiences and stay in touch with friends and families but also they have been playing an increasingly important role as a sources of news as more and more people come across news on these platforms we can see we have been conducting we have been engaging in different kind of online conferences webinars or different kind of online series that's how that's how it is possible due to covid 19 pandemic in nutshell uh, studies in Western countries have confirmed that online social media use for collaborative learning has a significant contribution to students' academic performance and satisfaction. In the same way, teaching learning activities in higher education institutions were affected by the integration and application of mobile devices in sharing the resource materials, interaction with colleagues and students' academic performance. That is the best, that is that must be in our everyday life in our teaching career similarly significant impact on higher education institutions especially in terms of learning tools and teaching aids faculty members use of social media seen at a minimum level due to several barriers internet accessibility mobile devices obviously yeah that's the pity part because uh, we don't all the teacher educators uh, if we go to a remote area even in my country if you go to a remote area so we the internet the, the, the people they don't have internet access and that's why uh, they are not able to uh, have uh, internet access and that's why they are very backward in using internet that's why we should everything should be there that's why Technological innovations give birth to a new kind of learning cultures and we have to utilize it learning based on the principle of collective exploration and interaction which facilitates students to be more interesting and dynamic so that's why if we engage our students in those kind of uh, e-learning activities then we can make our students more interesting and dynamic and now academic institutions should allow students to interact with their mentors with their teachers uh, to have access with their course contents 
and customize and build students communities that's why uh, implementation of such sophisticated communication technology can bring a revolutionary change drastic change for international collaborative learning as well obviously uh, we are connecting here from around the globe and how we share our own ideas or expertise here how do we collaborate here how do we communicate here that's the own example of using social media and at last still there are some questions there is there should be some question there, there are some questions does online learning have a negative impact on communication between instructor and students how communication between instructors and students in educational institutions can be improved these questions to are to my all the participants please you you have this kind of questions at last so i am uh, giving you some questions how communication between instructors and students in educational institutions can can be improved and another what are the problems that students face in online learning and does online learning have a negative impacts on students participation and their productivity level as a whole so i have given you i have shared you i am i have hand over you these three questions i guess some of you have this kind of issues in your teaching learning activities and that should be research that should be explored in our upcoming conference i guess uh, this is my time uh, thank you everyone and uh, sorry for this uh, face to face uh, online conference so that's why uh, i am really blessed and thank you dr romel and thank you everyone thank you all uh, you have very uh, good day uh, stay blessed stay safe i wish you good health thank you